We can break it down into subcategories. We have retail investors who are the individuals. You and me are individual investors. We can participate in markets through our retirements, through electing to invest, to buy shares, to buy bonds, to buy real estate, to buy commodities. That makes us uh, investors. We can participate as individuals. There can also be institutions, institutions like uh, endowments, and endowments may be, could be created by universities or other organizations. We have foundations, we have uh, insurance companies, we have pension funds, we have banks, and all these are institutions that participate in the market. They are also considered investors. We'll be presenting these today, regulators of the capital markets and the pension system, to encourage them to take these up and build on these as part of their regulatory work when they are supervising and regulating capital markets and the pension system, where these are very key to how those markets function. We hope to inspire the financial industry in Uganda to participate in putting investors first month, be it through uh, various investor events or endorsing the statement of uh, investor rights, and also share it with their clients and communities. And the investors are encouraged to read and uh, endorse the statement. This is a global initiative created to encourage uh, financial professionals to place the interests of investors above their own and build an awareness of a duty to protect uh, investor interests and the endorsement of the 10 rights that every investor should expect uh, from their financial service uh, providers.